is just the start of what is going to be an abundance of watches, warnings as temperatures continue to climb. So we already have this excessive heat warning. It's gone into effect for the lower deserts. Temps anywhere from 110 to 118 this week. Uh, and our high deserts, not to mention the Antelope Valley, you have this excess heat, excessive heat warning starting Tuesday. But take a look at this. It is going to be lasting through Monday. So we're talking about almost a week of temperatures in the triple digits. Even as you head into our Ventura County foothills, the I-5 corridor, seeing temps 95 to 105 degrees. Again, this is over the next week, so just keep in mind these temperatures that you it's see right sunny. now. And again, look uh, at this again. wind. Uh, concern for those fire crews. We're talking about 21 miles per hour. Uh, LAX, a very different story this afternoon. Cloudy skies, cool temps, 63 degrees. So you'll notice we did have a little bit of that marine layer out there this morning, bad fog. That's thanks to this trough of low pressure rolling through the area, but uh, unfortunately, it is not going to be dipping our temperatures very much. And that sinks to this ridge of high pressure. It is still hanging out tight and it is going to get comfortable, even expand a little bit as we head into the work week. About midweek, making it to the 90s. Keep in mind, though, we've got a heat wave going on and it's a holiday week. So 4th of July, 88 for you uh, in our inland area. So degrees making it to 114 by Friday, 112 on Saturday. So Michelle and Jory, uh, that heat not going anywhere anytime soon. miles per hour, 25 mile per hour winds in San Bernardino. So we are dealing with wind. And we are dealing with that heat. Pad by the coast, Santa Monica, Redondo Beach, hanging on to the 60s. But what you also need to factor in is the air quality. So moderate out there for much of you this evening, excuse me. But when you factor in just those fires that are burning, we have unhealthy for sensitive groups and this patch of red right here, unhealthy for everyone. So we are going into a week where we are going to see the wind speeds, the temps increase, air quality going to be in a concern, watches and warnings all kicking off as we head into the week as well. So we'll break it down in the full forecast, but for now, Michelle and Jory, I'll toss it back to you.